Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are playing some more Vampire Hunters today. There is a new map update that came out yesterday at the time of this video coming out. And it has a lot of new content. Uh, several new guns, several new rebalancing of things, uh, relics feel better. And this cool new map, which I am like 15 minutes into a run right now. I figured I'd start here to like show it off and then we'd probably do another run. I'm currently playing with a Paladin character. I didn't know if I was going to have time to record this run or not, so uh, that's why I did it. Oh no! Uh, okay, apparently that enemy has a slow aura. Oh no, oh, no we're on the slime. I, Yeah, slime is bad. He kind of got to run around all freely a bit ago. Uh, I'm using a weird setup of weapons here where we're like double Lightbringer, Luminous Whirlwind, Pixie Shooter, Garlic gun, these are all new things. Knife thrower, uh, other changes. Silver spoon, it used to do 1% damage and now does 5% increased. Um, Harpy claw is better. So there's this is a pretty massive update. Uh, there's also a lot of more unlockables. Stuff like getting characters to... Getting characters to uh, like level 200 is a quest. There's a new, there's this new blessed effect that lets you heal. There's jump pads in this level, including a zip line. There's also a doom giant penis worm if you're into that sort of thing, uh, boss. And overall, I'm like 15, I'm only 15 minutes in, but like so far, all good changes. I am playing with my like level zero paladin here though, so I don't expect to get much further. Oh, hey, look, the Scorpion King. That's one of the new bosses. I'm half expecting the rock to show up here and like give me the people's elbow, which I think would be incredible, but probably not allowed to do that due to copyright law. Um, maybe he'll put a, try and put a bracelet on me. I'm a little unimpressed by the knife thrower secondary weapon I have equipped. I'll say that. Also, where is Beard Boy? There he is. I called him Beard Boy, but really he's just like evil Gandalf. I don't know. So one of the new effects, at least one that I've seen so far called Bless, uh, basically uh, enchants a monster you hit but with Slay Me over here, just like drawing symbols. What is this? Um, it enchants a monster so that when you stay around it, um, it heals you for a small amount over time, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that got added to a few weapons that you would think would have that. Uh, we're in like some trouble. I, I did get really used to using, what's what's the Scorpion King doing? A little concerning. There's a chest over there. Um, I definitely got used to the scout and being able to air dash and double jump and all that stuff. So. Not having that here, well, not having any upgrades here has been pretty rough. I don't expect this run to last much longer, especially at 5 HP. Um, We could take a Holy Potion. A Meteor? No, I'm clicking Meteor. I Hopefully we get to see it before I die. I hear it, I think. <laughs> Definitely happened. Garlic Gun. Bigger Explosion Radius. Adds poison. Meteor 2. Loaded dice. Loaded dice is crazy. When you gain a relic, there is a 10% chance of receiving a copy of it. I have to take that if we are able to continue. It's going to be through that. So the game has like you're going to find rarer upgrades earlier, apparently. That was in the notes. In addition to regular relics being better, it was like a full, full balance pass of a lot of stuff in the game. Uh, I don't know how the other levels have changed, but apparently they have a little bit. Uh, we're not going to get that chest. We're not. I don't think we're going to get it. Oh, insane. I don't know what we should take, though. I'll take some grab pirate cannon. This is kind of a. This run is more or less dunzo for sure. Unless I can salvage something up here. Maybe find a potion somewhere. Also, I mentioned a zip line. Uh, there's a zip line. It's pretty slow. One thing I'd like to see is this sped up a little bit, but it does let you fire pretty safely. 
at enemies. I'm wondering if it's going to put me in danger from the the beard getting. I guess not. Uh, hey, potion. You can also jump off of that at any time you want, which is useful. Uh, the boss has been alive for far too long. I also have a bubble gun. Well, beard guy's gone. Where's the Scorpion King and what is he at? What has he been doing? What sort of mantra stuff? All right, Blessed Lightning also applies Electrify. That seems good. I feel like Blessed Lightning is going to be pretty strong now. I wish I could dash so badly. Again, level zero Paladin, so I don't have I don't even have the jumping smash. I think I actually did have it unlocked. I just like the skill tree got reset, I think. And I didn't go in and change it before this run. Oh, he charges. Um, oh, no, no, no. This is bad. He's kind of like the Mantis. Yeah, I, OK. One thing I will say is that Slay Me's uh, stupid ground stuff is not has not changed. Get meteored. I'm pretty sure that was a meteor I dropped. It's cats. All right, the blessed effect is healing us for a significant amount. But my damage is like really fallen off, fallen off here. Which is generally the downfall of the. Oh, hello. Hello, Mr. Rock. These don't hurt me. Um. I just need to finish my story. I think if I get to this chest and then get back to the hell, so what is that? The is that, that reptilian guy from League of Legends who I haven't played in a million years, Rennington? You do double damage to frozen enemies. That's crazy. All of these are crazy, but I'm gonna take uh, the Dragon Heart out of respect to Sean Connery. Oh, get out of here, Pixie Shooter Five. Weakness. When the fairy kills an enemy, it explodes into fairy dust. If the dust touches you, you gain 10% speed for 7 seconds. Doesn't stack. It also applies weakness. I mean, I'm not not going to take it. Probably need uh, to invest in a more offensive set of weapons. Bosses have appeared. That's uh, that's three bosses. And, um, well, the Scorpion King's still alive. It's lasting longer than its box office run. Oh, Mantis, get out of here. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Zipline? Ha <laughs> Fuck you, Mantis. Incredible. Truly incredible. Throw daggers at it. Can I still shoot it from this far away? Oh, and the skull ship's not following me. We're goaded. OK, let's shoot the shoot, shoot the giant penis monster before it causes problems. Also, we're getting shot. Just get out of here. I'm pretty sure all it does is actually spawn. Um... Oh, we're in the slime. All it does is spawn other dune, like tinier dune worms that start shooting projectiles at you, which is very dangerous. Also, it's a giant thing in the middle of the map. Uh, I will take catapult up and some healing. We're actually doing quite well to be 22 minutes in on a no level up run. Less lightning. No, I think we're going to Dragoon, Dragoon it up. Hi, enemies. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. There's so much. It's everywhere. Can't dodge everything, but I guess I will try. What are these? Oh, these are my pirate balls. I forgot that I picked pirate balls. I don't really know. Honestly, probably no good reason to do that. Oh, no, I can't dash. I want to dash. Get away from me, Mantis. 
We got it. We are one HP. Uh, bubble blaster two point blank. We have to not get hit now. We also have to pick. There should have been a healing drop somewhere. I just heard it. I don't know where. This is a pretty big map, so there's a lot of places it could be. I have to get off of this because that's gonna. One of these is gonna incidentally hit me like last time. And at one HP, that's death. Um. Let's go. I was gonna say let's go investigate down here, but that don't feel so great. I would feel a whole lot better about this if we weren't being literally hunted by. Uh, By the damn skull ship. I feel like I have a better chance to get out of this. We also have that blessed effect, so we can get some natural healing, but I don't think the AoE on it's really that big. And the problem is, you end up just killing the enemies. There he is. glad I have so much HP to mess around with. All right, well, Skull Ship is dead. You also can't zip line back the other way. Which right now is a concern. So we have the Mantis and the Scorpion King out here. Oh my gosh. Good thing there's no fall damage, but oh, <laughs> oh I thought we were dead. Okay, so where's the healing at? Was it there? Nope. I'm dropping meteors. There's dune worms. Where's it's right there. Okay. Heal me. Heal me. We're back in the game. We're back in. Locked and quite literally loaded. Uh, let's move up. Chest over here. I wasn't supposed to come this way. This is bad. I took a left when I was supposed to take a right, and now everything's awful. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was supposed to take the zip line. Well, that only cost us, like, most of our HP. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, where is this chest, and how do I... Uh... I was gonna say I think I could get to it, and then I fell off the zip line. I might still be able to get to it. They stay for a while. Ooh. Lucky Rabbit's Foot. Icebreaker, Meteor. Take the Lucky Rabbit's Foot. Right into Treasure Chest. Oh, there's six bosses active now? That's really not good. That's like... Really, really awful. Okay, we've died. Well, we kind of knew that was going to happen, right? We got to level 20 with the Paladin. That's not bad. We also have a lot of things to work on here. So let's go back to the menu. We unlocked the Storm Coil weapon. Let's look at our talent tree here. This looks incredibly different than it did before. What is happening? Oh, it shows what you unlock by getting further up. Okay, cool. I would like to take Stomp. We're going to play some more Paladin one more time. Um, upon taking damage, you release Light Thorns that deals damage based on your percentage of armor to nearby enemies. For a dollar? Increase the area of Stomp. Okay. Increase your HP regen. Increase your max HP. Shield? No. 2% damage. It's an artifact. Skill, you gain a light shield that ignores the next damage you would take 40 second cooldown. Every time you level up, heal one. 5% armor. Whoa, big skill tree. I do not have the stuff to get smite. Um, I'm going to take that and I'm going to take one of these and one of these I guess 
And now we have press shift to do a stomp and we will go back to the cursed necropolis with nothing added. We'll just try it out regularly. Um, acid flower, huh? Lightbringer was okay. Luminous Whirlwind was super interesting. So was Launcher. Um, I think what we will do is start with Flamethrower. Because I like it. And then we're just going to equip all of these. 10% um, armor is pretty good. And now we have like stats and we can jumping smash. And I have gone into the wrong stage. Let us quit. First Necropolis, please. Not stage two. I think Cursed Necropolis is Necropolis is significantly better than the second stage. I think the second stage needs some help. It's like a little small and not nearly as fun. This one is much like the first stage and there's a lot of place to move around. I don't know what movement options it's going to have compared to the first one with the uh, you know, the scout and double jumping, but I assume stuff over here in this area is going to get wild. But let's burn some enemies. Um, I'll take a lucky launcher. Why not? Uh, leaf bomb potion. Oh, it's a potion. It's like, okay. No, I'm gonna take a cat familiar. Cat familiar goes crazy. Also, there's a meow, so it's like gets bonus points for that. Flamethrower to boss slayer. I don't know about that. What about acid flower? Deals damage per second based on number of weapons with poison you have. It's a synergy weapon. Okay. It is a acid flamethrower. Shinobu's favorite weapon. That's a lightsaber. Okay, well. Who am I to disagree? Oh. Oh, they added saber throw to the game. That's sick. All right, I'm in. Uh, let's take piercing on the acid flower. You okay, wait. There is a like constellation setup where you don't use uh what should we call it? Where, where you don't use weapons and you just use your other stuff. So does that mean that we now have an official Jedi build in the game with throwing lightsabers? Cause that's kinda sick. It even makes the sound effect and it comes back to you. Nice. Acid flower adds exposed. I'm actually going to take another acid flower before we upgrade it. Since it apparently scales with having more. Also, I need to remember I can stomp. Stomp do damage or is it just? Yeah, I think it does damage. <laughs> I have played by far the least paladin of any of the characters in this game, so. Forgive me for my absolute uh, ignorance of this class. Definitely a scout main, but it felt appropriate. I will take 5% damage. But like so far, this seems like a pretty solid update. Uh, get back, please. Launcher three. None of those others say poison, so I guess we're just taking launcher three. To the zip line. One thing I don't know is if the launcher or not the launcher, if the acid flower gun, whatever, is going to have slow on it, which is super relevant to like it's how good it is long term, because if it does have slow and it's or you know, that adds a lot because uh, that's poison and piercing. I think it had exposed next. 
Barlet Gun is also poison, so I guess we can take that. It says it's leaving a spot on the ground, but I honestly don't see it. I'm gonna... Stomp. Mart card, Laser Saber. No, that's just the first one. I don't want another one. Let's get... Let's get another marked card. Or a first marked card, I guess. Having more luck is insane in this game from what we've seen so far. It's kind of weird that some of the stuff I was using before is like locked behind seemingly some more progression that I had already made previously. Oh, get wrecked by my lightsaber. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but It'll get there. Hey, hey, there's a whole. There's a whole pathway there. I just forgot about get back. <laughs> Feels good. Bubble blaster. No, no, we're we're going. We're going launcher spec cat up cat up. Jump to there. Yeah. Yeah. Missing double jumps is kind of sad. Acid flower gets exposed. OK. That's big for its overall, like, damage potential. The only other weapon previously that was a, uh, like, a synergy weapon was Revolver, which was okay, but didn't really compare some other stuff. All right, take Matrix Shot. In theory, this should be good against bosses if our damage, if like a lot of our damage is like poison based. I guess we can test that out right now. Remember that time uh, in the Scorpion King where he had to fight a Jedi? Oh, it literally looks like him too from the movie. Basically, the graphics are just as good. Well, I guess that's more from the mummy, too. Was he ever really the Scorpion King in the movie The Scorpion King? He was kind of just playing the rock, right? Maybe at the very end. It's been, uh, what, like 20 years since I've seen it now. 10% damage and slap. OK, I want slap, but I'm going to take 10% damage. It's too much. Did he did he fall down? What? He distracted me by falling over. He used his wrestling tricks. His incredible acting distracted me. There is a treasure chest over that way. Well, I gotta say, the Scorpion King is just like a big old tanky boss. Killer Frost, I would like it, but it's not... Um, Eh, okay. <laughs> I guess I would like it, and that was enough. I'm gonna jump down here and press F and try and kill this guy. Goodbye, Rocky. See you at WrestleMania 41. Anyways. Yeah, I don't think... Hmm. I don't think the like garlic gun that's supposed to what is curse enemies lose buffs and can't receive new ones for five seconds. Curse enemies take 20 percent plus 20 percent damage from burn and poison. Does it stack? If it stacks, it's insane. I mean, it's really good if it even if it doesn't, but uh, if it stacks, it's like really good. Um. Was I saying the garlic gun doesn't seem to show an area on the floor where you've like garlic up. Which I think is one of the first things of feedback I would say is like, hey, you should probably add that to some degree. I mean, I don't know that there could be a reason of like performance wise why that's the case. I'm going to take cat three.
Treasure chest is over there. Let's just move everyone away from me. I gotta say, I feel a little bit weaker than last run currently. Releases a seed on the ground that blossoms, creating a plant that continuously shoots acid at the nearest enemy for 10 seconds. Um, hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Is that the seed? It does appear to be so. Oh, careful. Terraria boss. He's over there. Keep flamethrower up. Yeah, probably about time. I guess having poison and burn isn't that bad of an idea. And this thing, that enemy is cursed looking. Uh, hey, laser eye, please don't. Come back. Come back. Okay. Angles. Angles. Lightsabers. Smash. Uh, this damage feels not good. Unless he has more HP than he used to. We just took a bunch. 150% uh, soul collection distance is a large amount. Tayeth might have gotten a buff. Come on, flower plant. Go do... Do something. Please. <laughs> Please do something. Um, I would like to get over there, but I kind of can't. It's not not good. I think I have to come this way. Lightsaber adds exposed. That's pretty great. If lightsaber only is going to be a run. Um, knock everyone back. I'm going to try and thread the needle here. Getting chests is extremely important. And I have walked the wrong way, but I'm still going to get it. Flamethrower gets slow. Probably. Probably worth. I am feeling a wee bit underpowered. Perhaps if you're going to poison, you just go all poison. Or maybe my other build was just kind of strong. Lightbringer is better. Um. Um. This isn't a contract. I'm going to take 15% reload speed. That's a that's a not insignificant amount. We got a lot of slow going on here. Drop the plant. Yeah, there you go. Get back. I'm going to pick up the XP. I mean, if I got a bunch of the acid flowers and level them all up so they're all throwing plants, that could be good. Heal my Jedi powers. Um, I guess it's I guess it's Killer Frost. Like I don't <laughs> don't think we really have an option there. I'd still like to see rerolls added somewhere back up please blessed lightning giving bless and electrified or no we just take 10% crit chance uh hopefully damage over time can crit we are now going to abandon our little spot which was pretty good to pick up a chest bold maneuver Exposed. I need to find a good spot. Feels like this build kind of wants to camp. 
And where is a good camp? Well, I guess we're not camping against this. Although, you showed up at a really nice time. Could you please, like, spawn right there again for me? Thank you. Hey, Mantis, I did not sign up for this. Perfect, perfect. The goal is, in fact, to get her to just teleport around while we stay away from the Manto die. Where the... I think I heard it. Was that a chest or a potion? It's been a few days since, been like a couple weeks since I played, I think. Something like that. So yeah, remembering the sound of the potion effect. Man. Corpse Bomb? Corpse Bomb is generally good. There he is. I would like to go up here now. He's going to be chasing me here in a second, but it's okay. I'm going to pull them upstairs. I... I... I fucked that one pretty bad. <laughs> that was not good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna pull everybody upstairs here, because there's no spawn point up here. And then ideally... What? Does Corpse Bomb have an effect now? Or is that cursed? Now, ideally, we just kite the Manta to Manta die. Mantis. Manta dick. Whatever. Whatever his name is. Uh, I'm, I'm curious about the pathing. If I was to do something like, uh, like this. Oh, nice. Is he stuck on the corner? Uh, he was. Bye. At least we got to stomp. All right, there's a chest somewhere right there. I think what I want to see next in this game is... I'm going to go expose. I think what I want to see next is... One, a radar for, like, potions and other stuff. Maybe unlockable. And then other types of event shrines that you could like get buffs from or treasure chests or something. If you like kill enough enemies by standing in a little certain area, I think that would be an interesting thing to add to it. Because right now, I think the one problem with this uh, like game mode or whatever is that you're heavily incentivized to exploit the enemy AI by uh, just basically going to paths that only have one entrance. Which is obviously like somewhat strategy, but also like at some point it stops becoming strategy and just becomes the only way to really play. So it would be cool if there were incentives to like persuade you to not do that. Uh, Flamethrower 5 for Fireball mode is pretty decent. Manta die is about to Manta die. Can you please, like, back off for a moment, though? Please? Poison's really not doing as much as I thought it would. And my Fireball just missed entirely. What a day. Stomp goes crazy, though. That spot's awful. I would say that my AoE feels pretty... Pretty not wonderful here. 4% damage for each boss defeated. Well... It's a scaling artifact that... What, have we killed, like, three bosses now? So that's 12% damage? Pretty hard to say no. Get away from me, you cat bastard. Oh, man, there's so much XP over there. Alright, we gotta get up here. To this chest, then we'll come back for the stuff. Uh, I will take... Garlic gun. 
I guess we probably don't have enough poison weapons either. When you think about it. All right, Killer Frost is pretty good. We have like a billion uh, exposed effects, like all of our things do exposed. Take a lightsaber, please. Remember the time Luke went to the to the mummy's tomb and killed the <laughs> the watch the watchdog guardians who had cat heads but dog bodies or dog heads but cat bodies. In the place between whatever whatever Elden Ring is called the realms between I forget the name of it. Whatever Elden Ring reference cat cat dog watchers. Let's see if we can get this stupid slime dead before we have more problems. Uh, the answer is going to be a resounding no. Holy, holy rock. <laughs> this guy is an enemy of the people. He has to be put down. All right. Since the zip line is one way, I'm going to go like this to this to one of these. Oh, what a big jump. I don't know if we're going to make it. Worst case, we get to attack the Skeleton King from up here. The problem is there's no way to speed up the zip line, so we're just kind of at the mercy. Nice. Acid Flower 6. Um, one max ammo plus two damage. Plus two damage, you say. Okay. I do not see the Scorpion King. I do, however, think I'm going to get off this ride. Where is he? I feel like I'm about to get like j just jumped. Uh, sir. Oh, he's right there. Cool. Uh, garlic on five. When the garlic hits an enemy, it bursts into five cloves of garlic that cause damage to the first enemy hit. Well, that seems probably good. Oh, hello. You missed. Just like the box office is. Hey, <laughs> get fucked. Try your Black Adam form next. Um, the, the slime, the slime is everywhere. Familiar Cat 5? I think so. The Scorpion King has been slain. All is right in the world. Plus, we got 4% damage for doing that. Because of our relic, which is kind of sweet. Definitely not feeling like we have the most powerful gun set up, but you make do for sure. We've already made it 20 minutes again, so that's that's a good sign. I mean, part of that might be I've just gotten better at the game over, you know, for playing it quite a bit now. Acid flower seven. Ugh. <laughs> I don't know about that one. That one seems a little bit loose. Maybe we take a Thunderstroke here for the extra get back. 
First sword two. No, I would like I would like a dragon heart, please. Hey, how'd you guys? Oh, they came from over there. Wow. Incredible levels of sneak on those mummies. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It is kind of satisfying to get a really high spot to jump from, though. Take thunderstroke. And thunderstroke. Since we really don't want to add weapons that are not poison. But we've probably got one or two that are maybe still locked, which isn't making this any easier. This is the spot to be right here. They have to come through the through that way to get to us. You know, I didn't notice. Is the lightsaber green? Is it Luke's lightsaber? Have to see when I throw it again. Skull ship. Dune part two and Terraria. It is green. It is Luke's lightsaber. I, you know what? I appreciate that. It could have been any color. But going with Luke is classic. All right, let's uh, let's go meteor. I think what I would like to do is get rid of the desert worm first. Oh, our damage is so bad. Holy hell. Um, hey guy, you're. Your things are shooting through the worm. That's kind of not fair. I would argue. Also, can I please have, please give me acid flower four. Thank you. We do, we do no damage. This is really bad. Um, or maybe bosses just have more HP. It's very possible. You know what? Maybe it's both. I'm going to say it's both. Laser beams, laser beams. Get me out of here. I don't really want to zip line across because I what I can't. Oh my god, he shoots projectiles. I had no idea. <laughs> the worm is vomiting on me. I would like healing, please. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Um. When you gain a relic, 10% chance to copy it. I mean, again, we have to take it, but like... Our projections are not good at the moment. I think we're gonna have to leave the worm alive and run over here and hope to get rid of... Tayeth? Who is hiding with his uh, allies. His ball-shaped allies. You have a stomp ready to go. Oh, please don't run out there. Please come on, man. Well, back we go. Back I go. Well, I guess the good thing is we have the cat to heal us in addition to other like very small passive healing. I think we have a little bit. Oh. Nice to meet you up here, skull ship. Oh, that was insane. Um, get me down, get me down, get me down. <laughs> this is not good. All right, 
One more boss down. Killer Frost, you gain armor for each enemy. That's got to be good. Well, for each frozen enemy, obviously. Like, if it was just every enemy on the screen, I think we'd just be immortal because of the fact that I'm not killing anything. Ah! He be spitting shit at me. There's gonna be a laser coming my way here a second. Please, please give me double the relic, whatever this is. Oh, you know what? Another acid flower might go crazy. Poison scales off the amount of poison weapons. We've been a little under poison weaponed. Wow. I don't think the lightsaber's gonna hit. Maybe? No, get back. I jumped over the laser. I'm gonna jump down here and smash. We're doing it. Wait, I think the I think the extra poison done made a difference. Five blood per damage taken. 20% healing effect in this. There is a black hole, which I kind of want, but at the same time, I'm gonna take Warlord's Belt. It's a mythical item. More blood means more Fs. Slay me almost got me from the grave like usual. Really need to find uh, some healing now. Oh, oh no, oh. That's how you know you're killing too slow. <laughs> Hi, evil nurse. Oh, damage? Wait a second. Wait a second, it's not over. There's healing up here. One of the enemies is a Mantidae, the other one's a... Uh, Scorpion King. If I can... If I can get rid of these floating eyeballs, I think we have a much better shot. We can also put some damage on the Mantis before we jump out. And then eyeball where... Okay, there's one down there. There's one right there I can shoot. Kind of. Can I make this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can. All right. Uh, point blank. Maybe. Honestly, it might be time to just take a sniper. It's not great, but sometimes you just do what you got to do. Um, Swarm Cocoon, I am saying I didn't read all the like buffs to en random enemies. All I'm saying is that there is a 100% chance that Swarm Cocoon got buffed. <laughs> that thing has so much more HP than it used to. Uh, where is my healing? I heard it spawn. That's a worm still there. Puppies? Bro. Please help. I... Okay, Scorpion King... Wait, where's the Mantis? I don't know. What the fuck was that? All right, There's some projectile enemies around. Oh, it's the it's the Dune worms. All the summoners causing me problems. This is very low damage. Very very low. Oh, mantis. Get back. How did I not like just die from all of that? How 
Paladin armor, I guess. Where's the heals? That's what I'm saying. I can't even stop to fight that. Well, Manta Die is going to be dead, so that's 4% more damage for us. Which is nice. And then we get a heal. I think one of our bigger problems right now is that we're level 41. And not significantly higher. I'm going to stomp. Meteor 2, Curse Sword. Now let's take Meteor 2. The flower is going to do some work over there. Jump to... the spot's not safe. We have a, another Cocoon and the Scorpion King out. The problem... well, we actually have two more Cocoons. This spot is also technically a little hidey hole. I'm going to save the F I have. Collect the onks at the top of the pyramid. Are we getting out of here? It's been 30 minutes. Do I have to kill the bosses? This is one. Wait, what's going to happen? Oh, I got to stand in it. Uh oh. Scorpion King got absolutely rolled. We're on 13 HP. There's still an eyeball alive. What is this? Please, please, please stop. No, no, we were so close. So close to greatness. I'm number 43 already. That's crazy. I guess it's pretty easy when you don't have like, a lot of people doing it. Reach level 30. We got Tree of Life's Trunk. You instantly recover 100 HP. 100 max speed. You lose 35% damage. Well, I don't think I'm ever taking that. Reach level 50 with Paladin and gets Pestilence. Which throws a vial of toxin that could make a toxic cloud in a small area causing damage to enemies. That would be good. Dragoon. We know what Dragoon does. It's incredible. Okay, well... That was pretty awesome. Let me know what you guys want to see. There's a lot of updates coming out. Um, I definitely want to unlock some more stuff. That was fun. We got a lot of points here, so maybe maybe Paladin gets a bit stronger um, as we get closer to Blood Rain, which is probably pretty good. And then also receive 20 armor while standing still and 5 ammo and and armor cap to 90 oh yeah you just become like invincible that seems good um but yeah i uh, hope you guys like the video thanks for watching i'll see you all next time have a great day jeff out bye